XR Access Logo, a person with arms and legs outstretched inside of two orbiting arrows. Tagline reads, virtual, augmented, and mixed reality for people with disabilities. My name is Meryl Evan. I am from Plano, Texas, and I am an accessibility marketing consultant and speaker. A photo of Meryl as a child with hearing aids. I grew up in Fort Worth, Texas. Aerial footage of skyscrapers towering over a curling river. Which is an hour from where I am now. I was born profoundly deaf, and I grew up learning how to speak in the breed. I do not use American Sign Language. I know there was a few signs, but I could not have a conversation. And so the primary way I listen is through the breeding and with my cochlear implant. Because I was born deaf, I was at the bottom of the vestibular disorder. What that means is that I can become prone to vertigo or dizziness easily. And I played them three D games years ago and could not handle them because it was it, I didn't feel good. My friend and colleague Thomas Logan convinced me to try it because he wanted my feedback as someone who's deaf in my experience. So I, try, I started with an application, an app that I knew had captions, and that was the Infrank House. I discovered over time that I was able to stay in VR longer and longer and longer. I truly believe it's helping train my balance system and making it less sensitive to motion. I mean, it's not a cure, but it's stronger. It's like exercise, exercising, you, you lift weight, you get stronger. Um, and sometimes it's not feasible. So that's what uh, XR been for me. I have been working with a deaf, uh, a group of people who are deaf and hard of hearing. We all communicate differently. We all have different preferences. And really, there is no one preference that stands out from the rest. So that means we need to have a customization option for caption because everyone is different on the color choices, on the background transparency or no transparency, and also on the headlock or fix. A person looks around a virtual reality scene as captions follow their gaze. Footage from Gallaudet University. Meaning, some people prefer the caption to move with their head, while others prefer to stay put. My vision for Ector in the future is that it will be acceptable. We have a long way to go, and it's been disappointing that the industry has not been more inclusive early in the game, but hopefully that will change soon and we'll see more progress. Errol's social media information, which is also available in the description. XR Access Logo, a person with arms and legs outstretched inside of two orbiting arrows. Tagline reads, virtual, augmented, and mixed reality for people with disabilities.